I know I post, you know, my tips and jokes and debunks on corsets on all my platforms, but I'm not, a, I'm not an expert by any means. And if you want to learn more about corsets, you need to check out Lucy Corsetry on her website because she is the expert in this community. I like to post my tips based on my experiences and they're not always correct, but they are what has helped me throughout the 10 years that I've been wearing corsets. So that's why I post these things. I'm still always learning and growing and my corset community on YouTube and on TikTok and on Instagram are always teaching me. And so I really appreciate everybody who gives me and everyone else who reads the comments those nuggets of awesome information with regard to corsets. So a couple of things that I learned today and throughout the week. Corsets have these hip and rib springs for a reason and that is to help us be able to you know move and allow the corset to adjust when we are moving and grooving throughout the day and corsets should never be closed completely <sighs> mind blown you know you always get those comments or i always get those comments that are like tighter close it tighter and i'm always like yeah i know i'm trying i'm trying my best to get my corset closed but like according to not just one comment but a few comments corsets are not meant to completely be closed there should be one to two inches of gaps and i have been looking on um, lucy corsetry i don't know if i've actually found anything that says you have to have a gap in the back of your corset maybe i just haven't looked hard enough but i am trying to find new corsets as you can see here i have like a ton pulled up this one mcc 94 the reason why i'm iffy about it is because the rib spring is 11 and the hip spring is 12 and the length is 10.75 my max length would be 11 and that's like way too long for me so this is like really cutting it cutting kind of long so i'm just holding this up like worst case scenario and then i have this mcc 386x i'm not a fan of the color or you know of course the hip ties i'm not a fan of the corset pattern the rib spring is Eh, and then the hip and the hip springs are pretty cool if you saw my video the other day you know that i measured myself with my corset on and then with my corset off again under bust 34 and a half hips 39 and a half so if i wanted a 24 inch corset which is what i want then i would need at least a 10 inch rib spring and a 16 inch hip spring i have more fat even though i have not gained any weight i have gained fat which is horrible i know but whatever that's not the point the point is is that this is what my rib and hip spring is looking like and it's pretty hard to find i mean i know i would have to go towards like the custom corset but like i'm not at that stage where i want to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on a corset that's why i'm like looking for a off the rack ready to wear corset and then i had timeless trends open up and i was looking at the regular because the long line is like 11 plus 11 to 13 inches long this is about eight inches long which is too short for me my current corset is about eight inches so i was looking at regular corsets and majority of them are like six to eight inch um six to eight inch rib springs and that's obviously too short on me I also checked out the Gemini and Libra and the rib springs are not compatible. So Libra, the center, it would probably be maybe a little too long, like probably kind of cutting it. Um, hip spring would be a little too small for me. I would prefer to get a bigger hip spring than a smaller hip spring, even though everybody that voted on my polls were like, get one that's snug with some spillage versus one that's too big. And I'm like, mm, I don't know. So let's look at the Gemini real fast. So this would be too long on me based on this length measurement and be too long on me. The rib spring would be too small. I would prefer a bigger corset that's more like bigger in the ribs and hips versus giving me like a lot of spillage just because like I'm just so over the spillage and I'm, I'm over this. I hate purchasing new corsets. It's like the worst thing ever. Anyways, back to Lucy Corsetry. So I was looking at the blog post that can I waist train in that corset? You can go to research brands and then waist training friendly corsets. I don't know a lot of these brand names, nor do I want to try to get to know them. Unfortunately, I'm just not in the mood. Mystic City Corset, all of their corsets are good. That's why everybody keeps telling me to get a Mystic City Corset. The only thing is, well, hold on. I'll 
tell you guys right now. Orchard corset, I have the 201 in satin. She doesn't mention anything about satin, but whatever. I wasn't a fan of this one or this one because of the rib and hip springs. They're just, they're just not compatible except for the extreme and this one is like decent like it's not the best but it's decent a nine inch rib spring and a 16 inch hip spring see that's the thing though is that it would be cutting it a little too close to being too long and then if you remember 10 inches and 16 inches nine inches and 16 inches so that's where I'm kind of leaning towards and it would be a size 24 that I would get because 24 inch corset plus a 9 inch rib spring would be 33. My, I would have spillover in my ribs 100% because I'm a 34 inch under bust. It would not close up there. And then a 24 inch corset plus 16 is 40. So this would be good. It may be a little a little loose on me, but I would prefer it to be a little loose on me so then tight, especially around the hips. Ribs would be way too tight and hips would be loose, maybe. I was also looking at true corset, but all of the corsets that are like for waist training, they're all sold out. So I looked at this one, I looked at this blue one, not the plus size one, where is it? This blue one right here. They're all sold out in size 24 and I don't wanna get a bigger size, like I'm already, you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't want to go up. I'd, first, I'd rather go down. So then we come back to, yes, you know, Mystic City. I'm going to go through every freaking corset and check the rib and hip springs. The ones that do not have hip laces and see. Corset that I was like... I told you guys in my live, I was like goo goo gaga over. Like, it's just gorgeous. The only issue is that the only size they have is a size 24 inch. And because the rib and hip springs are like really large, as you can see, a size 24 would just be way too big on me. But like a size 20 would be freaking perfect. Like even too perfect for me. I wish they would have a size 20. I don't want to reach out to them because I've heard like they're not the nicest. <laughs> But yeah, so this was like, I was thinking of when I said, what corset should I get guys? Either a really loose one or a snug one. This was the really loose one. And then the semi snug one with spillage would be this one, except it would be probably way too long on me and it'd be really annoying. And I would probably complain to you all the time. Wish me luck in the comments and let me know what corset brand you are currently wearing, which I probably know it's either Mystic City, Timeless Trends, or Orchard Corset. Everybody usually gravitates to one of those three corset brands, which I of course am doing. I'm cutting out Timeless Trends completely, keeping Orchard Corset in mind, the corset I showed you, and I'm just gonna go like beast mode on mystic city corset and just try to look for a corset that fits me a little bit better than the corset that i currently have so yeah bye